Uh, she's right. There is a lot of campaigning going around. Yeah, there is, that. certainly. Right. Yeah. So the ballots are, in fact, still being cast here in Connecticut. Yeah, two people not worried about their seats this time around, at least. <laughs> They're joining us now. Welcome Hartford Mayor Luke Ronan and New Britain Mayor Aaron Stewart. So hello, Mayors. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. It's an exciting night, Thanks. too. So let's talk about what we're most excited about for tonight, uh, which races that you've been keeping your eye on. Uh, we'll begin with uh, Mayor Bronin. Well, look, I think the biggest race uh, that I'm keeping my eye on, as is everybody else, is the governor's race. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I think uh, this is a race where you have a governor uh, who has just a tremendously strong record. You know, this is a governor who's uh, paid down pension debt, built up surplus, uh, delivered the biggest tax cut in Connecticut's history, invested in child mental health, passed, you know, paid family medical leave, and you can go on, as well as just leading us through a uh, pandemic with a steady hand uh, and, uh, and a lot of partnership with local leaders. So I think he's got a really strong record to, to run on and you know, just haven't seen a compelling case from the other side. Uh, so I, I think the voters in Connecticut are gonna agree with that. Okay, uh, Mayor Stewart, we're gonna turn to you and ask you basically the same question. What, what are you keeping your eyes on? Uh, what's central focus tonight? You know, I think uh, unlike Mayor Bronin, I'm looking at the 5th District Congressional race, Johanna Hayes uh, versus George Logan. I think that this has been a pretty heated battle, uh, especially picking up over the last six months. You have uh, Mr. Logan, who's been campaigning pretty steadily on the economy and inflation as his number one issue. Um, he's giving uh, Ms. Hayes uh, quite, the, quite the run tonight. Um, and we're seeing that with turnout. And we're seeing that with what we're hearing with folks that are at the polls. So let's talk about that same thing on a national basis, you know, that, that race, the 5th District race, would affect the balance of power in Washington. So nationally, um, as we watch things unfold tonight, what are you expecting? Do you expect a big red wave? Midterms always tough on the President's party. Midterms are historically tough on the President's party. You're right. On average, they're always losing, I'll say, at least 35 to 40 seats. It's always a, a flip. There's been two kind of outliers there. George Bush's presidency post 9-11, and I think uh, Clinton in 98 was was one of them. So I think that you'll, you'll certainly see some of a red wave. I'm just not sure how large that will be. Okay. Okay. All right, and then Mayor Bronin, too. Are you expecting a big wave? And, and could this election, especially as we focus in on Connecticut and what Connecticut voters are, are voicing tonight, could this be a bellwether to the trends happening in our state? Well, look, again, I think you're going to see a strong performance by Governor Lamont tonight. I think you're going to see uh, all of the Democratic constitutional officers performing strong tonight. And I think you're going to see the Democrats uh, maintain strong majorities in both the House and the Senate uh, here in the, in, in the General Assembly. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think, as uh, Mayor Stewart has highlighted, the, the fifth is a very competitive race. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, as, as uh, Mayor Stewart just said, uh, midterms are historically a challenge for the party that has the presidency. And beyond that, you've got a, a time when inflation is high. You know, I would argue that uh, the Republican Party is running on that, but hasn't put forward a single idea for how they intend to address it. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, if they uh, if they take the majority down in Washington. Mayor Stewart, let me ask you just one more. You just have a few seconds left, but. Sure. Uh, you know, I, I saw that number that you just put out there uh, not long ago, and I was kind of surprised that, that historically, on average, it's that many 30 or 35 seats. Mm. If the uh, Republicans pick up fewer seats than that in the House, 20 seats, would you see that as a failure or for the Republicans in this election? I don't think it's a failure. I think, would you, you be know, disappointed? Oh, <laughs> yes, but of course. <laughs> because I think it's all about gaining control tonight nationwide, and that's what we're looking at. Um, but Connecticut is is an interesting, uh, an interesting state for Republicans because Republicans don't just win here just because they're Republican. You mm -hmm. have to run great campaigns, and Republicans who win good campaigns will be rewarded tonight. All right. Yeah. Mayor Aaron Stewart. Mayor uh, Luke Bronin, thank you both for joining mm -hmm. us. They're going to be with us for a few hours here tonight. We will visit with them again.